Hi YouTube. I have been a very bad YouTuber this month because having promised you I was going to do my daily advent calendar opening. That hasn't happened. I don't worry, you haven't missed anything because I haven't opened a single window of my um, makeup cosmetics advent calendar. I bought the M&S one this year and it's still sitting completely unopened. Uh, I've just been so busy, away from home quite a lot, working. And I guess I've come to the conclusion <laughs> it's just not worth trying to catch up at this stage because we're already on the 16th of December. And maybe I'll just keep it till next year. Sad, but there we are. So I think all that I can do is try and do a few uh, more ordinary videos, end of year videos um, before Christmas and after Christmas before New Year. So with that in mind, I haven't opened this little parcel from Burberry. I know what it is, of course, because I ordered it the other day uh, that came yesterday. And I thought we'd have a little quick unboxing so you could see the beautiful, tasteful, um, very sober and seemly um, packaging from Burberry. I quite like the um, plain brown boxes that they use and the um, maroon kind of berry red ribbon. Um, it's kind of in keeping with the Burberry aesthetic, which certainly so far as their makeup range is concerned, is very classic, very understated. There's nothing kind of fabulous makeup artist um, in their colours, but it's very wearable. Um, and I have had various Burberry items over the years and enjoyed them. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's been any that I haven't liked. Um, but I haven't bought anything for a while. And I saw this. I think probably on somebody's Instagram the other day. And so I went on the website and lo and behold, this is their festive, um, well, I don't think it's specifically for, well, I'm not sure whether, I was going to say, I'm not sure whether it's specifically for the holiday period. It's the monogram collection. And there's basically this nine eyeshadow palette and three lipsticks. I was kind of tempted to get one of the lipsticks. They were all red, so one scarlet and two berries of differing tone. And I do like the Burberry lipsticks, but I have got to stop buying lipstick because I have so many that are barely used. And, um, I, you know, I don't top up my lipstick very much during the day. I might put it on at the beginning of the day or in the evening when I go out, and then I don't use it again. So it takes me ages to get through one lipstick, never mind, you know, the drawers full that I've got. So I didn't, but I treated myself to this palette, which is an expensive palette. It's up there. I can't even get in the box. It's up there with the kind of Tom Ford prices, although you're getting a lot more product, even than Tom Ford. Uh, £70. Nice shiny but discreet packaging nice size I mean you can kind of see in comparison to my hand this um is bigger than your kind of ordinary Chanel quad not a great deal bigger than uh, a Tom Ford quad slightly different shape because it's square rather than rectangular and for that you're getting nine shades I think in different finishes but all neutrals if I can get in there we go so let's cover the mirror up so that we can look at it properly there we go in the last of um, this wintry light so very much a Burberry shade of neutrals we look as if we've got a clear mat down there and up there and the rest look like satins to me i was very keen for this one which is a kind of olivey 
khaki gold brown then you've got a kind of copper a, a taupe up here two golds and the other brown shades so you know this is usable all year but it's very much an autumn winter um palette i would say let's have a look oh yes feels nice so that's a well pigmented, very shiny, silvery, almost pink rosy taupe. That's right up my street. Here's the olive. Ooh. Yes, it's more pigmented than I thought. Um, excited about that. It's kind of got gold flecks in it. Can you see? Very nice. And then a very rich, yeah, chocolatey. Oh, that's a beautiful consistency. If you like matte shadows, it's got a touch of warmth in it there, I would say. Um, absolutely no fallout and very pigmented. I'm just going to take my watch off to give myself a bit more room. Let's go into this. Oh, burnished gold, coppery gold. So pretty. And then a much lighter gold gold. Again, very pretty. Those two would be very wearable at different times of the year, I have to say. Slightly warm for me, but very pretty. And then we've got a kind of darker taupe which is a satin rather than completely matte so you've definitely got some kind of almost pink flecks in a much cooler gray brown really then another coppery color over here so those two not dissimilar this one that one there is a bit more kind of fiery. But those two, I suspect, might look quite similar on the eye, I have to say. And then another brown. Again, kind of mid-toned brown. And then finally, a more kind of neutral mesh again beautiful consistency <clears throat> these are really really nice formulas very pigmented no apparent fallout i mean you can never tell till you get it on the eye um, but those mats in particular are nice and creamy to work with those of us who find mats can sometimes be a bit drying hard to work with um it's a beautiful palette i think this would look good on all sorts of skins. I mean, I think actually if you were auburn, um, mid-toned complexion, these would look stunning. Um, but I can see them working on all sorts of um, complexions. So, yeah, um, beautiful, beautiful quality. Nicely presented. It's really down to whether you like this. Um, shade selection um, if you do then I'd say this looks like a really nice palette because you're getting a lot um, of different ones what's the total weight I'm not sure I can see uh, yeah 20 grams 0.7 ounces of product there so a good lot of product um, very beautifully presented. I really love this khaki with kind of gold flecks and indeed this lighter kind of rosy taupe. Very pretty. So looking forward to trying that one out. So there's one of my early Christmas presents to myself. Advent present, really. Um, I will try and record something else um, in the next few days. Uh, to show you things that have been in my intro forever. I haven't even been experimenting very much. It's just been so full on. I hope you're all doing well. 
I hope um, you're not suffering too much if you're in England with the strikes and the weather uh, or indeed anywhere else and that you're all looking forward to the holidays. It's the last kind of gasp, isn't it, next week before we celebrate with friends and family. So um, let's make it a good one. Anyway, until next time, bye for now. <laughs>